Thanks, guys. I'm joined now by outside receivers coach Tommy Maynard. And this past hour, we've announced some of your guys. First, we'll start with uh, a local kid, an athlete out of Snyder, Texas. He's well known around West Texas, uh, Keenan Ward. Tell me a little bit about what intrigues you about him. Well, number one is his personality. He's a great, great guy to be around and, and, and a fun, fun attitude and a fun personality. And, you know, the great thing about him is he's versatile. We can do a lot of things. Uh, with him, we can we can put him at the inside receiver or outside, or we can we can put him on defense. He'll be a special teams guy for us. So we're excited anytime we get a good West Texas person around uh, around around here from Snyder to stay stay close to home. We want him to do that. You talked a little bit about um, how versatile he is. Twenty six hundred yards and thirty four touchdowns total this year how exciting is that to know that you can put him anywhere and he's he's going to be efficient yeah you can put him anywhere and and you know when you deal with guys like that that you, you got wildcat opportunities with him and we've got several guys that we'll talk about that are going to have that opportunity but you want the ball in a guy you know a guy like that you want the ball in his hands uh, and you want him on the field no doubt talk about a little bit about another guy uh, a high school kid dominique wheeler he his highlight reel is just fun to watch. Right. You know, as, as Neil put it, I think, earlier to you guys, you know, he might be the most dynamic guy in the state of Texas. In our opinion, he is. And so uh, for him to, to commit to us early as he did and then stay strong with his commitment says one about his character. And, uh, and we can't say enough about, about how he plays football. We're really ready to get him in the red and black and, and get him started the summer. What is one of his best attributes you would say? He, he can leap up and get the ball, but then he's going to outrun you in the secondary as well. Yeah, speed is his, his number one thing. And, and you know, we, we're still looking for that. I mentioned that a year ago. We need, we need guys to come in and, and take a break, break one tackle and go 60 yards. We had not had that since we've been here. And so that's something we're, we're thirsty for. And, and Dominique, along with some of the other guys that we'll talk about, you know, bring that, bring that to the table for us. Talk a little bit about a guy who, he was the steal, and it's always nice to get a steal, and, and Casey Gladney brings that. He's an athlete who has done a little bit of everything as well. He was a verbal commitment to Alabama, and now he's a Red Raider. What do you kind of see from him? Well, and the sky's the limit with him as well. You know, he's so multiple, we can do some things maybe on offense and in defense with him. So uh, we're, we're going to experiment with that to see how, how uh, he can handle both sides of the ball and special teams and, and just see how well he develops and, and go from there. So, you know, with a guy like that, you can't have a set play Plan. It's kind of like Keenan. You can't have a set plan. Let's get out there. Let's see where he fits in the pu puzzle and uh, depth-wise at different positions, and let's see where he can help us immediately. How important is the development of these guys, especially the high school kids who, who won't be here in for spring ball? And you may have to redshirt, but in the long run, maybe the best bet. No, no question. It's it's the best bet. We're not going to put anyone out there that's going to that's they're not physically ready to, to be out there. Uh, so, you know, we put it all on Coach Walker, Joe Walker, and his staff. They come in here right after they graduate in June, and how fast they can develop. Uh, it's been amazing to see. Joe and his staff what they can do in two years uh, with some of our guys. So I know that's going to that's not going to change. Some of these guys are stronger than others. They'll be more ready to get out there in August. So it'll it'll be interesting to watch how they all develop. You do have a couple of those guys that signed back in December, JUCO guys. Javon Bell being one, a, a dynamic wide receiver. Is he another Dominique Wheeler type? He's going to beat you out in the secondary, or is he a bit stronger? He can go up and get that get that fade ball. Well, he's a lot like Dominique, but he's he's older. And in our opinion, he was the number one recruited or number one evaluated junior college prospect in the country. So we can't be more excited about him either. And uh, we, we need him to come in now, not only for depth, but for explosiveness. And uh, we're counting on him to come in this spring, compete for a starting job, and uh, and push our other guys, you know, our outside receiver position. We're excited about Javon. Switching gears a bit, you had a big hand in, in the recruitment of some of these Texas guys, specifically Anthony Smith, J.J. Lawler, and Quentin White over, over in uh, College Station. Talk about kind of what went into those and what really caught your attention with those guys. Well, all three have, have – we talked about it earlier in, 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 uh, with, with, with Keenan, and that's their attitude and their character. You know, uh, when Coach Tuberville talked uh, the two years ago when we started recruiting, we wanted, we wanted good character guys too. We wanted guys that were good students, good athletes, came from good families that we know we could count on, guys that aren't going to quit when it, when it gets tough. And those, those three guys uh, define that. Uh, you, know, th you know, it goes back to programs. I've recruited Spring Westfield, where Anthony Smith's from, for, for eight years. I've recruited David Raffield, who came from Cy Falls to a and Consolidated for eight years. I've signed their players. Those guys come out mentally tough, and they're ready to play, and they always have high character. So going into those programs, I had a little history with those guys and, and knew what I was getting. Uh, I think Anthony Smith, if I recall, he, he's 
called a big body athlete. I mean, he's going to give you a bunch of a bunch of strength on the line, but he's also going to give you a bunch of speed. Yeah, and that's what Corby Meekins, the head coach at, at Spring Westfield, and I. You know, when I first went in there a year and a half ago and talked about Anthony, that's exactly the way he described him. He said he's a he's an athlete trapped in a big man's body. You know, he said three years ago he was our starting running back, and our, you know he was, an, he was an outside linebacker. A guy can run, so uh, he's trapped in a big man's body. And he's going to play like it. And, and Anthony plays very aggressive and plays with a chip on his shoulder. He's fun to watch. He, he's a six foot, six foot one, uh, 300 pound body that plays with good leverage and, and has great change of direction that can run. We timed him at a, a sub five flat at our camp. So uh, big things are going to come from him. He's got the strength level uh, to, to, make, to help us early too. So we're excited to see what he can bring come in June. Overall, you're pretty excited about the way this class has panned out and some of the players who can have immediate impacts come spring ball and come fall. No doubt, no doubt. We've, we finally, I think we've gotten five good outside receivers that are with us right now, and that's not including Alex Torres or, or Tyson Williams that we can move out if we need to. We've got five guys outside that can play football for Texas Tech, and the competition is going to be fun. It's going to be exciting to watch these guys compete against each other, and uh, I think, I think it's, it's going to be a different growth for us. I think we got a, finally got a chance to be explosive uh, at the outside receiver position. Ready for spring football, I can tell. Absolutely. Can't get here fast enough. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me here in the war room. The uh, big war room. <laughs> Glad to be in here with these guys. Well, thanks for joining us all in all. 15 signees so far today for the Red Raiders. It's been a great day at the football training facility, but it's not over yet. We're still waiting to hear from a couple guys. So keep it at TexasTech.com all day. All the full coverage you can get. Photos, pictures, web, highlight, it's all there for you. And we'll see you tonight in blackout fashion. Will you be there for the Lady Raiders? Absolutely. My Lady Raiders, <laughs> Lady Raiders hosting the Aggies for the final time here in Lubbock. Tip-off set for 7 p.m. Until then, have a wonderful day, everyone.